Waratah do loads when it comes to fencing for agriculture, farmers, vineyards and the like, but they also do tons of stuff for preservation of our natural resources, which is our land and our native animals. We're located about 90 k's from Wyala in Air Peninsula, and this could very well be one of the longest fences of its kind. Why is it here? Why is it so important? Well, let's ask John. So we built this fence principally to um, conserve the mallee look after the mallee fowl. We found that probably six, seven years ago, we had 18 active mallee fowl mounds in this area, and now it's down to, to one or, or none most years. We think it's largely because of too many kangaroos and goats, but also cats and foxes. So we thought, crikey, you know, our mallee fowl are going down the gurgler, let's, let's um, pull our finger out and do something here as well. Yeah, after a few trials, we decided to build a fence to, to keep those threats out. So this fence is uh, 14 kilometres long. It encloses uh, 900 hectares. Yeah, we're hoping that by removing the kangaroos and goats and rabbits and cats and foxes, the mallee fowl will naturally flow over the fence and recolonise, and then we might be able to bring some other native animals back here as well that used to live in this area. So some places where we've built fences like this, we've got 10 times the number of native mammals inside than outside, and that's due to you know, more grass and food, but less predators as well. I guess the key to it is that uh, cats and foxes are really good climbers. You could build a fence 20 metres high and a cat or fox could climb over it. But um, this floppy top means that if a cat's climbing up, it, it won't take their full weight and it, it's really, um, it really puts them off when they're, they're flopping around like that, so they're reluctant to, to jump off. So that's, that's really a key to it, to having an, a nice even, even bend and, and some fairly floppy wires. And another really important part of this fence too is to have um, this foot netting that um, lays flat on the ground by staying above the ground, it doesn't um, rust out, but it stops animals from burrowing underneath. And what's really important too, one of the early lessons we learnt, this is 30 mil diameter netting. The initial um, rabbit proof netting was 40 mil diameter, and we learnt the hard way that young rabbits can get through 40 mil netting. So if anyone tells you 40 mil rabbit netting is rabbit proof, yeah, it's not. So, um, so we've used the 30 mil netting here for, for rabbit proofing this fence as well. We've trialled different products and things like that, and obviously there's some netting that's, that's cheaper than this, this Waratah product, so that looked attractive initially, but um, we have always go back to Waratah, it's reliable, it's strong. Last thing you want to do is build a fence and then find that it's rusting or it's got holes, or even when you're, you're stretching it out, you know, if you can pull this and it doesn't deform, whereas yeah, some of the cheap uh, netting from, from Asia really deforms and you know, kangaroos hit it and split it and things like that. No, absolutely, it's great to support Australian industry and, and Australian companies and, and Australian jobs as well, so wherever we can, because the product's better, and it supports Australians, then yeah, we support it as well.